Today, I'm getting into Helium 5G. You guys ever go down a rabbit hole and then a few weeks later, you got two packages at the door. And that's exactly what we have here from over at heliumdeploy.io. We picked up a Helium 5G hotspot as well as this beast of an outdoor antenna. All right, so let's check out our hotspot. So this is made by the team, love the logo by the way, Freedom Phi, this is a Helium 5G hotspot. Let's go ahead and get this opened up here. All right, so opening it up real quick, we do have our Helium 5G hotspot, a little card from them on how to get started, so we'll have to follow that. We got this mounting bracket, which this is actually kind of nice. And then this is our power cable and finally our antenna. So taking a look at the unit, uh, pretty slick looking here, power button. We have two USB ports, 3.0 and traditional. A console port, that's a little different. Got the cool little Freedom 5 logo. Here it looks like this is where our antenna is gonna go into if we're using the traditional one that comes with it. That is the 1.2. On this back side here though, this is what I think is most interesting. So the WAN side, my understanding is for our internet side. So that's gonna plug into our home firewall or router. We then have one, two, three different antenna ports that we'll be utilizing for us. We're gonna just be using the one since we only have one of the antennas but we do have two additional ports that we can utilize for expansion to make a little extra money. We'll have to see how this does with just one antenna, and then if all looks good, we'll invest in the other two, and then finally our power button here. All right, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at that antenna. So taking a look at this one here, I believe it's an, uh, it's pronounced by cells, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. You guys probably know a lot more than I do. I am just getting in to Helium 5G. So this is our antenna. We have our mounting equipment as well as our power cables. Let me get this unboxed on the table and we can take a closer look. All right, so this thing is definitely heavier than it looks. I mean, it's it's got some weight to it without a doubt, but it makes sense because look at this mounting bracket. Oh my gosh. So it'll slide on like this and then you have these additional uh, hooks that you can add to like a pole mount. I'll probably end up getting something like a J hook. I'm not positive quite yet. It also has a PoE injector. So we're definitely gonna use that. Uh, I'll show you guys in a few minutes where I plan to actually install this uh, and it'll go actually in my attic. I'll show that to you guys. And this is gonna go right outside of it on an exterior wall. But look at this beast. It looks good. It's really clean. This is not like plastic. This is, I don't even know what material this is, um, but pretty sweet all around. Here is where that mounting gets hooked in on the backside. Um, and then, oh God, see, I told you it was heavy. Uh, it's pretty robust. Um, and then on this side here, all right, sorry, it's hard to do one handed. It is really heavy. On this side here, there's a door right here that opens up and there's actually right through here, you can see these little grommet holes. I uh, can't really open it this way, I have to wait, but this is where I'm gonna put my ethernet cable through and that'll come through and it'll go over to PoE, which this will be inside the attic. And then from there, LAN port will go into a switch that I'm gonna put in the attic itself. Uh, I won't need these anchors. I'll probably end up anchoring a little bit differently than these, uh, but yeah, this is it guys. I mean, this is pretty sick, as I said, pretty large. So we'll have this unit set up and it's all gonna hook to here, which will be really, really nice. Now, the nice thing is like, I can put a little ether, I can put that antenna actually on now that I think about it. But at the end of the day, it's actually gonna fully optimize the antenna, which is right here, which is that ENB1 unit. So let me head up to the attic and I'll show you guys where I'm gonna put this. All right, we're up in the attic, up in the roof here, you can see. This is the one way we finished this about a year ago and then you spin around and here is the other way so take a look yep gpu miner at heart absolutely love it <laughs> this is where all my boxes live got away with hiding them up here in the attic away from the wife and the kids so if you guys have followed my channel we got into helium mining some time ago it's a little dark so i'm going to kind of show you guys we ran ethernet from the basement sorry just got ran up that ladder up here, there's my traditional helium uh, MNTD gold spot miner. We do have an LMA 400 cable off of that. And it actually goes, here I'll show you, right here. So here is our traditional helium mounted right here with an 8 dB antenna. This thing has been rocking it. Even right now it makes over a dollar a day. It barely uses any watts, I can't complain. But what I'm thinking about doing is putting another shelf here, putting a switch in. Um, I do have power, I ran power. Some, it's under here somewhere. Let's see. 
there it is we got power there sorry a little bit of a mess up here i need to clean it up so maybe i'll do that before i get started a shelf here with a switch to go ahead and provide ethernet to this unit i've tried these in the past with wireless they just don't do very well so wire this unit we'll wire in our new helium 5g or freedom 5 one and then what i'm thinking is is putting my 5g at antenna that buy sells one on the other side of this wall because we're well up i mean i have a two-story home this is at the very peak and putting it right out here but i really don't know if you guys know will that 5g one interfere with this one i don't think so but i thought i'd ask you guys first um because the direction outside this wall is towards a more populated area and everything i read was like you want to point these towards the most populated area around you but i'll show you guys outside here in a minute this is really high up like i'm gonna have to get a a lift to go ahead and actually get this high because my property slopes on this side um so let's head downstairs and i'll show you guys a picture of the outside of the house here all right guys so i went ahead and took a picture of the outside of my home here and to show you guys a little bit, if I zoom out, you see how the property slopes quite a bit? There's that outside basement door that you guys see me always coming in and out of. But my goal was, and, and where we were in the attic was actually up here, way up here. And that that um, regular helium lo-fi antenna was right here going up and down. Um, so my goal was to put this antenna way up here, but I'm gonna need, and I don't remember the name of it, um, it's not a scissor lift. It's whatever the lift is. It's kind of like angled. It's got the big tires on it. I'm probably gonna have to rent one of those. The downside is, is those are expensive. So I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. I thought about doing, I, I've even tried when I first did the helium stuff, an extension ladder. And it's just, it's so high. I mean, significantly higher than two stories. So gonna have to figure that out, but that's gonna be my long-term goal of getting this installed. Now let's take a look at a few things because there's a lot to unpack here and understand as Helium 5G antennas require so much more than what I expected. First off, I wanted to show you guys how my uh, Moken cell was doing. If you guys remember previous video, if you guys didn't catch it, I'll put a link down below as well as the upper right-hand corner. Um, on Moken.io, we actually have a cell, like it's a Freedom Fi one, and it's this exact same antenna that you guys can see here, which is the Nova 430H. We have one of these, but we're like leasing or renting it uh, from down in Florida. And uh, it's actually pretty sweet the way this looks here. If I click on view on coverage area, it's gonna go ahead and find it and zoom in. Look, there's one right there. And we're getting 75% of those profits off of that uh, is the way that this is set up. Um, so to show you guys specifically, um, you know, I went through this in detail in my last video, but when I what I wanna show you guys was like, I've been getting payouts. like. I got one actually today recording this the 13th for 58,000 uh, of the mobile token is what they call it. And then you can see all my payouts here every few days, I'm getting a payout, uh, which is really nice. Now the mobile token isn't really worth anything right now. It's like totally speculative. And that's what most of this video is like even getting into Helium 5G, totally speculative. I have no clue if it's gonna be worth nothing or if it's gonna be worth something, but we're just kind of getting ahead of the curve there a little bit. So if you guys are interested, check out that Moken.io video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. It was from over at heliumdeploy.io. Go over and check it out. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested. And if you come over here, hardware, uh, they have all different bundles. The bundle I got here, which was the Nova 430H with the Freedom 5 5G. Now this one is specific for US. That's why you see US 19 listed there uh, for $24.99. Now, the, the hotspot itself, you can actually get, like if you just wanna get the hotspot, this is over on Freedom 5's website, I didn't see it on Helium Deploy. You can get the gateway specifically for $9.99. Um, and so you can see that's readily available right there. And then you could just set this up. I think they actually have, I thought they had some, yeah, here we go, like some indoor bundle. So you could do all of this and run the indoor bundle if you wanted to, but as you guys know, you know, going with the outdoor bundle most likely is significantly more profitable. And that's really what we're going to be testing out. Now, to set up the hotspot, I'm not going to do it in today's video. I'll probably do it in the next one or show you guys how I made out. But on Helium Deploy, they have a great article by Marcus here, Brunette, um, who wrote this up. And as you scroll through it, it's really simple. Like you just go ahead, connect everything. You load up the Helium app, which I'm going to be doing this. You set it for the Freedom Fi, and then you do everything through the app. The only things that are a little bit different than like, 
Helium is you end up uh, scanning the QR code. And then once you're done with that, you know, you set your location, which is pretty, I mean, this is like step-by-step handholding, which is nice. See, now you could set it up here for the 1.2 DBI if you wanted to, or you can say that you have that other antenna. As you get through this entirely though, this is really where it gets more complicated, where you have to go ahead and set up the radio. That's the antenna version of it. And the radio definitely is significantly more work. And I didn't expect it to be this much. So when you're doing the radio, there's more of a guide here. These guys have done a really good job at Helium Deploy to explain it, but you go through the app and you go through the step-by-steps for the radio. Now, some things that are a little bit different is like you have to register not only the radio, but then you have to actually provide pictures to validate its location, its um, elevation, its angle, all of that stuff. So there's a, actually a full section where you have to download specific apps. I've been watching several videos on this, learning about it, and then taking screenshots of those apps or taking a picture with your phone of those apps to show that it's actually installed correctly. So they have a separate guide on installing this that I will be following that you actually like go on your roof, get it mounted or on the side of your home. And then you actually have to put your phone on top of it and then take a picture with another phone in order to show its location, to show its elevation, if it's a level. And then you actually have to stand like on the ground and take pictures of the unit. And then you upload those through the Helium app. And then it actually registers the unit entirely, which is totally outside of what I expected. I didn't realize how in depth this was. And I, I guess I should have read up on it more, which is fine. Not a big deal. We'll definitely work through it. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna wrap things up for today. I am super excited to get into Helium 5G. Gotta fix my antenna there. Um, you know, I'm eager to really jump into it early. It may be nothing. And this may be totally speculative, totally a wasted investment, or this could be big at one point or another, maybe originally or down the road, who knows? But I have really enjoyed Helium. I know it's burned. The Helium Power Project has burned a lot of people. I know a lot of people had issues getting their miners back when Helium originally started. Um, I wasn't involved then, so I can't really speak to some of those struggles. I got my Helium Miner about a year ago and made out like a bandit, thankfully, for where I'm located and how well my two Helium Miners have done. So Helium Mining 5G, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, getting this all set up and good to go. I do have to work through some of those logistics as to getting it mounted to the side of my home. So I'll probably do a lot of that ahead of time. But anyways, love to get your thoughts down below. Helium 5G, some of this tech, what do you think? Let me know if you guys are involved in Helium 5G or check out down below. There's a link. You can see all the hardware that I got in. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it one of these and I'll see you guys next time. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at MindTheASIC.com. Are you in the early stages of searching for a profitable ASIC miner and not sure where to get started? The team over at MindTheASIC.com has you covered. Their massive ASIC database houses everything you could possibly need when searching for an ASIC. Hash rate, power consumption, algorithm, best vendor pricing, daily profitability, mining pools, and more. MindTheASIC.com is your daily one-stop shop for everything ASIC mining, including proof-of-work rankings, ASIC videos, relatable blogs, mining calculators, and more. Knowing what vendors you can trust your ASIC purchase with is always difficult. MindTheASIC.com has you covered. Their vendor list has been vetted and reviewed to ease your purchasing concerns. Go check out MindTheASIC.com today. Thanks again to MindTheASIC.com for supporting the hobbyist miner community.